Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about principles of ethics in medicine. Ethics is derived from ethos, which means human values. Ethics is the science of morality. Who need ethics? Doctors, researchers, teachers, students, or farmers, businessmen, judiciary, media, celebrities, police, government, leaders. The answer is everyone need ethics everywhere. What are the cardinal principles of ethics? Justice, autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence. First is justice. Justice is the phenomenon where you take decisions holding good on one side, bad on other side, like the lady of justice. You decide what is fair or what is right. When justice has to be ensured, principles of equity and equality has to be ensured. When my mother equally divides the food to me and my sister, that is called as equality. But if my mother understands my level of appetite, my physique, my body needs, and if she ensures a little bit more compared to my sister, that is called equity. We are moving from what is right to what right you have, that is autonomy. Autonomy is respecting the right of the individual and allowing their wishes, their likes, decisions happen. Autonomy is concerned about what do you like, what is your decision. Many times this principle of autonomy is overridden by other ethical principles. Whenever we are using the word compulsory, mandatory, we should understand the fact that we are violating autonomy. Consent in medical practice is a proof of respect for autonomy. Privacy and confidentiality are the different extensions of autonomy. Beneficence. This is the third ethical principle we are talking about. It is doing good for the, uh, for the people. That is, what is beneficial for the people. Now, the fourth and last is non maleficence which is ensuring that we are not harming the person hippocrates in his oath to stated that above all at least do no harm ethics will not end if i hide the scars of medical research the first one is tuskegee study it was conducted among african black males and this study was conducted by Department of Public Health, United States. And their study objective was to study the natural history of syphilis. The study was started in 1932. 1940, penicillin was identified as the drug which will be helpful in, in treating syphilis. But in 1942, penicillin the standard uh, drug of choice for treating syphilis. But they continued the study for studying the natural history of disease till 1972 without giving penicillin to them. And many died of complications in that period. The second one is the Nazi experiments during the World War II. All the prisoners were subjected to world's highest possible unethical researches like freezing experiments high altitude experiments, change of color by injecting dyes into the eyes of the persons. The one in the picture is the people coming out of sea water study who are dehydrated, emaciated and they have successfully completed sea water study. After understanding the four ethical pillars, the real challenge while implementing will be in understanding which ethical principle is most important 
and which ethical principle i can compromise and these tough decisions you are going to make in your life is going to be your value and character thank you